The ribbon is 2.33 meters when rounded off to two decimal places. Yeah. What is the smallest possible length of the ribbon? All right. So for such estimation and approximation questions, you have to understand that 2.33 meters is not the original nor the actual value, but rather this is already the rounded value. Okay, because they say when rounded off to 2 dp, this is 2.33. So we don't know what's the actual value. All right, there's so many actual values that could be uh, rounded to 2.33, but what we want is the smallest possible actual length. All right, so what we're going to do first is, now think about it, if I want a number to round off to two decimal places, it also means that the original value has to be in the form of three decimal places. Only when it has three decimal places, then I can round off to two decimal places. All right, so what I'm going to do is 2.33, I'm going to rewrite it in the form of three decimal places. So you just need to add a zero behind the three three. So these two are the same values, yeah? So no matter how many zeros I add behind, the values are kept the same. All right, so now I'm just putting in the zero so that I can uh, go on to do whatever I need to do in the form of three decimal places for now. Okay, now moving forward, what should I do next? For such questions, Okay, if you record the whole numbers, we actually learned this before, just that we deal with whole numbers that time. We use the double line method for this. Okay, so the rounded value 2.330, we place it in the center of the number line. All right, now and we need to decide what to put at the ends of the line. So what to put at the ends, you're going to use this to help you. When they say two decimal places, in other words, it means that this number and this number will be plus minus plus minus 0 0.01. Okay, if it's two decimal places, it's 0 0.01. If it's one decimal place, then it's 0 0.1 with one decimal place. All right, so this is how you can remember it. So if it's two decimal places, means this value here must be 0 0.01 lesser than the center value. And the value on the right side must be 0 0.01 more than the center value. So if you calculate this, you realize that the left side value is 2.320. Okay, so 2.330 minus 0 0.01. So you can actually calculate like that. Minus 0 0.01. You realize that this is 2.32 on the left hand side. Just add a zero behind because I want to make sure there's three decimal places shown. Same for the right hand side. If you add 0 0.01 you realize that gives us 2.34. Just add a zero behind, 2.340. Okay, some of you are quick to notice that if you have figured out the one side already, it'll be a lot easier to figure out the other side. There's a pattern. 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4. Okay, so that works also. Now, the next thing to introduce are the midpoints. So midpoints, we usually use dots to represent them. So what's the value of this midpoint here? Okay, so if this is 2.320, this is 3, 2.330. Now, I know with decimals, with a lot of digits, it can be a bit confusing, all right? So what I suggest you to do is, if you look at the numbers, you don't have to care about the 2. The 2 in front of the decimal point, you don't have to care about that. Just look at this as 320, 330, and you realize that the middle midpoint here, will be 325, okay? Just that you have to add in the two in front of the dot, 2.325, all right? So there's one way to look at it. Same for the other way, the other side here, 330, 340, so this will be 2.335, okay? Now, ask ourselves, what do we points round to? Do they round up or do they round down? What is the direction of rounding? So we points always rounds up. Right? This is something we know since four numbers. So since midpoints always draw up, draw the arrow showing up to the next number. And once you have done with your uh, arrow drawing, you, you have finished your number line, you can now go on to decipher what you want. We want the smallest possible length. All right? So smallest possible length means on the left hand side. I focus on the left side. I don't look at the right hand side. So the number line method represents actual values on the left that can, that can round up to 2.33, and it can also represent actual numbers on the right that can round down to 2.33. Alright, that's the reason why we use a number line method to do this. 
Okay, so let's look at the smallest possible length. Let's look at the left side. So if you look, always look at the big points first. So the big point here, 2.325 rounds up to 2.33. So is this the smallest? Yes, it definitely is. Because anything smaller than this will round down to 2.32 already. All right, so this is what I just explained. The length cannot be smaller than 2.325. Because when anything smaller than this, it will round down to 2.32, which is not what we want. We want something that rounds up to 2.33. And that smallest value can only be the midpoint here, which is 2.325. All right. Okay, let's look at question 14. So Yeti's mass is 47.6 kg when rounded off to the nearest tenth. What is the largest possible mass? So nearest tenth beats nearest one death place. All right, two TP, two decimal place is nearest hundred with a TH behind the spelling. Okay, so they ask you what is the largest possible mass. So again, such questions means that you're going to use the double line method. All right. Now, the question says uh, nearest 10, right? Nearest one DP. Okay, so if we want to round off a number to the nearest one decimal place, it means that the original number should contain two decimal places. All right, so what we're going to do is the 47.6, that is the rounded value here. We are going to re-express it in the form of two decimal places, which is 47.60. Then again, we're going to draw the number line. Rounded value, 47.60, put it in the center. What do we put at the two ends? Okay, so to put the numbers at the two ends, again, use this. All right, sorry, use it. Nearest 10. So like I said, nearest 10 means nearest one decimal places. Just put DP for short. So nearest one decimal place, if you recall just now my previous explanation, anything to the nearest one DP means plus minus 0 0.1. Okay, if it's nearest 100 or nearest two decimal places, plus minus 0 0.01. So what happens is of 47.6, okay, minus 0 0.1, here will be plus 0 0.1. So if you do the calculation for this, you would realize that this will be 47.50. This one. And this will be 47.70. Okay. Now, next thing to introduce are your midpoints. So looking at this midpoint here, this is a 50. This is a 60. So here will be 0.51. So 47.55. Right, and for this, you have a 60 here, 70 here, so this will be 0. 0.65. Midpoints, do they round up or round down? They always round up. Draw the arrow upwards like this to the next number. Okay, and from here, we are now going to decide what is the largest possible mass that round down to 47.60. So, largest possible mass means you look at the right hand side, focus on the right side now. Don't look at the left. Okay, so on the right side, focus on the midpoint first. 47.65. Ask yourself, does this round down to give me 47.6? Obviously not, because we know midpoints always rounds up, which means that this is definitely out. So I need something lesser than this, but yet as big as possible. Correct? Because I need largest. So something less than this, but yet as big as possible. In other words, I need, okay, I need 47.65 to minus 0 0.01. Okay, so 0 0.01, you can look at it as the last digit. The last digit need to be reduced by 1. The last digit is a 5. Okay, if I reduce that by 1, actually I'm subtracting 0 0.01. And that will give me 47.64. So that will be the largest possible best that rounds down to 47.6.